everyone! If you enjoy the video, please leave a like and comment what type of content you would like to see next time. Also, only a small percentage of people that watch my videos are actually subscribed. So if you end up liking the video, consider subscribing. Check out the Patreon in the video description for more stories by my team. Enjoy the video! Steve started cross-dressing in early high school and never told anyone. In college, he would sometimes drive around at night dressed as a woman, but was too scared to leave his vehicle. Out of college, Steve loved having his own place since he could cross-dress whenever he wanted. He loved all the freedom and even started his own little cross-dressing YouTube channel. However, everything changed once Steve got married. Steve had never told his wife about his cross-dressing. He was always too scared of what she would think. Steve and Janice had been married for four years and had no kids together. Janice worked a high-paying tech sales job, while Steve worked as a cashier at a video game store. Janice would often travel during the week and this gave Steve time to cross-dress. Steve had some clothes of his own, but he kept them in a storage unit that was far away from his home. He would often resort to wearing Janice's clothes. Janice was really into fashion so Steve always had something new to try on. Over time, Steve had gotten lazier and lazier with his cross-dressing and did a worse job putting Janice's clothes back in the correct places. Janice had begun to notice that every time she came back from a work trip, her clothes were moved around slightly. Janice also noticed that her clothes smelled like someone else had worn them. Janice had a suspicion about what was going on, but was not sure. One day she told Steve that she was going for a work trip, but actually just went on a long drive. She pretended to pack all of her belongings and told Steve that she would be gone for a few days. She left the house and waited a few hours before she returned. Steve waited two hours after Janice had left and then decided that it was safe to begin dressing up. He went into her closet and found a pair of her underwear and a bra. He put them on. He then realized that he was thirsty for some water. He went to the kitchen and began filling up his cup. Janice walked through the front door right as Steve was turning to walk back to the room. Janice's jaw dropped and she immediately began yelling at him. She said, Steve. What are you doing wearing my clothes? Are you out of your mind? Are you gay? Steve froze and could barely utter a single word. Finally, he was able to say, I am not gay. I just like wearing women's clothes. Janice said, how could you not tell me? I am very angry at you for not telling me about this. Steve apologized. Steve said that he would go back to their room and take off her clothes immediately. Janice stopped him. She said, wait. You think you can just wear my clothes and go back to acting like everything is normal? I honestly don't mind you wearing my clothes. What I do mind is you going halfway. If you are going to try to be a woman, you need to commit to it. And I am going to help you do it. Janice took Steve's hand and took him back to her closet. Janice picked out one of her tight neon pink dresses and helped Steve put it on. Steve was barely able to squeeze into it. Janice took out her phone and snapped a picture of Steve wearing the dress. Steve begged her to delete it but she insisted that he looked great. He told him that as long as he followed her directions, he wouldn't have to worry about the pictures of him being sent to anyone. Janice told Steve to sit and wait on the bed. Janice stepped out of the room and Steve heard her making a few calls. After a few minutes, Janice came back into the room and told Steve that they were going on a trip. Janice told Steve to gather his phone and other belongings. Janice gave Steve a matching pink purse to put his things in. Steve followed Janice to their car and Janice drove them to the mall. Steve was a little bit hesitant about going into the mall, but quickly listened to Janice when she reminded him of the pictures. Janice held Steve's hand as they walked across the parking lot. This made Steve feel a little better. At this point, Steve just looked like a man wearing a dress. He didn't look like a woman at all. Janice said that the first stop would be the salon. Janice's friends were waiting outside of the salon as they approached. 
They all began roaring with laughter when they saw Steve. One of them said, no way you convinced him to do this. Janice smiled and said, I caught him wearing my panties so this is going to be his punishment. My face turned red. They took me inside of the salon and sat me down on one of the chairs. Janice came to the salon a lot and the ladies working there knew her well. They also laughed at the sight of me dressed up. They began working on me. My hair was waxed off my arms and legs. Next, they tweezed my eyebrows and shaved off the little facial hair that I had. Makeup was applied to my face and my hair was put in a hairnet. A brown shoulder-length wig was attached to my head. The whole process took close to two hours. By the end of it, I had transformed into a woman. Janice told me to get up. She took some more pictures of me and asked one of the ladies working there to take a picture with all of us. Next, we all went to a woman's shoe store and Janice picked up a pair of six-inch heels for me. They were way too hard for me to walk in and I had to hold Janice's hand to walk anywhere. When we walked out of the store, everyone was looking at me. I could tell that many people onlooking were suspicious of me being a woman. We walked around the mall for a bit and stopped at a pizzeria for a late lunch. After another hour or so, Janice and I walked back to our car and drove home. On the drive home, I told Janice that I actually had fun today and that I liked that she was supporting me. Janice turned over and smiled at me. She said that she liked how I looked when I was dressed up and secretly was really into it. This made me blush. When we got home, Janice instructed me to unpack her bags and put away all of her clothes. Janice remarked that it was going to be nice to have someone to do the chores around the house now. Janice had me clean the dishes and then vacuum the floor. Suddenly, Janice said that she had a great idea. She had been looking for an assistant for a long time and told me that I needed to quit my job at the video game store and come work for her. She said the work would be easy and I would get to dress up as a woman whenever she went on business trips. She said that it would be a great opportunity for us to work together. I wasn't so sure about this idea, but ended up agreeing because it sounded a lot better than my job at the video game store. Janice jumped up and down and told me how excited she was for this. At this point, I was getting a little tired from all the cleaning and shopping. I asked Janice if I could go change. Janice said she had one surprise left for me. Janice took my hand and led me to our bedroom. On the bed I saw there were a pair of handcuffs. I turned around just as Janice locked the door behind us. Hey, guys. Part 2 of the story will be on my Patreon. Link is in the description. I hope you enjoyed the story. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think of this new third-person format rather than first-person. I think it will open up a lot more variety of stories. I hope you liked it.